College football fans are sick of Alabama. How do I know? Because I hear it all the time. Are you a college football fan that does not root for the Tide, and are you sick of Alabama? Raise your hand. It's just that way in sports. We get sick of dynasties. We marvel and admire the dynasty on one level, but we get sick. Sick of the Patriots, sick of the Yankees, the Celtics. Fill in the blank. Well, it's Alabama right now under Nick Saban. And to a large degree, it's Alabama all the time. And so a number of people like to take a shot at Alabama's 18 claimed national championships. We go to work and we break down the metrics and we are revising college football national championships here at the Voice of College Football. I've explained it before. There's good reason to do so. In any given year, especially before 1998, there could be multiple teams who had similar resumes who earned national championships, but they didn't play each other. They may have had like records, like schedules. There's no way to distinguish between the teams uh, because, again, they did not play each other. But only one could be voted number one in any given poll. Therefore, it's not fair. It's not a fair system. But let's look at Alabama's 18 claim national championships. And I'm sure many of you are assuming once we go through the criteria, they're going to emerge with less National championships. We shall see. Let's go through them. Alabama claims this many national championships. And, of course, you've subscribed to the Voice of College Football. Hit that bell for the notifications to know when we go live with you. 1925, 26, 30, 34, 41, 61, 64, 65, 73, 78, 79, 92, 09, 11, 12, 15, 17, and 20. Let's go through the national championships claimed by Alabama. 1925, the Tide went 10-0 with eight shutouts. They beat uh, Washington in the Rose Bowl 20-19. to These other schools claimed national championships. Washington, Michigan, Tulane, and Dartmouth. Dartmouth went undefeated. Tulane tied, though, and Michigan and Washington lost. They're all claiming national championships. Give the national championship to Alabama. Tied, keep your national championship from 1925. It's earned. 1926, Bama went 9-0-1. They tied the Rose Bowl against Stanford 7-7. National championships are also claimed by Stanford and Lafayette. Alabama at 9-0-1 in 1926. Claim and keep your national championship of 1926. On to the 30s. Bama in 1930, 10-0 with eight shutouts again. They defeated Washington State in the Rose Bowl 24-0. Undisputed Alabama 1930. Take your national championship and be proud of it. Let's go on to 1934. Bama 10-0, Minnesota 9-0. Need we say more? You went undefeated, you're the national champion. At least claim a share. Bama, keep your 34 national championship as well. Now let's move on to 1941. All right, here we go. Bama a national champion at 9-2, and 5-2 two, and two in the SEC, and shut out twice. They lost to Mississippi State 14-0, and Vandy, Mighty Vandy wins it 7-0 over the Tide. The ever-popular Hoolgate system. You know what? The Hoolgate system sucks. Some of these systems become too complex and complicated. They outsmart themselves. If a team is 9-2 and two and shut out twice, they are not the national champion. Alabama in favor of Minnesota 8 and 0, Duke 8 0 and 1. Bama 1941, your national championship is invalid. Why did you claim it? Give it back. It is null and void according to the Voice of College Football. 1941, Alabama is not the national champion. Move on to 1961 under Bear Bryant. A Sugar Bowl championship against Arkansas concluded an 11-0 season for the Tide. Alabama clearly the national champion in 1961. Let's move on to 64 and 65. In 1964, Bama goes 10-1. They lose the Orange Bowl to Texas. Texas finishes at 10-1. They had lost to Arkansas. Arkansas, the Jerry Jones, Jimmy Johnson, Arkansas team of 1964, Finishes 11-0. Why is Arkansas not the national champion? 
11 and 0, beat number one Texas during the regular season, also beat a number six team in the nation, Nebraska, in its bowl game. Cotton Bowl winner Arkansas is the valid national champion of 1964. Alabama at 10 and 1. Give back your national championship. It was not earned. In 1965, Alabama finished at 9-1-1 with a loss to Georgia, a tie against Tennessee. The Tide concluded its season by defeating number 3 Nebraska in the Orange Bowl. So Tide 9-1-1, who are its competitors in the national championship race. Michigan State 10-1, lost the Rose Bowl to UCLA 14-12. Arkansas finished at 10-1, lost the Cotton Bowl to LSU. So interesting that we've got... Two undefeated teams that lost major bowl games. Alabama finished its season with a huge win against Nebraska in a major bowl game. So the tie did 9-1-1. and one and one. Despite the tie, claim your national championship. It's a share between Michigan State, Arkansas, and the Tide in 1965. Let's move on to 1973, that team that went 11-1. Played a great Sugar Bowl game against Notre Dame and lost 24-23. That was the loss for the Tide against Notre Dame. Well, what did Notre Dame do? Notre Dame went 11-0. What are we debating here? 1973, Alabama. Why are you claiming a national championship? I know because you're Alabama. You have claimed a national championship in which you lost to an undefeated team in a bowl game. I don't care if it was close. I don't care if he got robbed. What the deal was, 24-23, Notre Dame's undefeated. They are the national champion. You are not Alabama at 10-1. and Give back your 1973 national championship. Let's go to 1978 and a myriad of one-loss teams vying for a national championship. USC 12-1. and The other teams played 12 games. They would include Alabama. 11 and 1, Oklahoma, Clemson and Penn State all went 11 and 1. What's the big factor here? USC went to Alabama, defeated the Tide by two scores, 24-14 on the road. What are we debating here? We shouldn't be debating anything. Alabama, give back your 1978 national championship. And if you're not going to give it back, you know what? Penn State, you lost to Alabama. By the same approach, the same philosophy, the same reasoning, Penn State should be able to claim a national championship because you know what? We lost to the other one-loss team, so we are clearly the national champion, just like Alabama is, in losing to USC by two scores at home. Alabama give back the 1978 national championship. It belongs to USC. The very next season, Alabama finished the campaign at 12-0 following a 15-point win in the Sugar Bowl. I remember it well watching it. Lou Holtz, Arkansas, 24-9. Bama, you're 12-0, even though many people believe that that star-studded USC team at 11-0-1 that beat a tremendous number one Ohio State team 17-16 in the Rose Bowl was the best team, but the team that earned the national championship in 1979, Alabama. Keep your national championship from 79. Now on to the next wave, the next generation following the Bear Bryant years. Gene Stalling in a national championship run in 1992 as a huge underdog at the Sugar Bowl. Bama trounced Miami 34-13 to finish at 13-0. Of course, Bama, you are the national champion of 1992. Wear it proud. On to the Nick Saban years. And of course, in his third full season with Alabama 2009, Bama marched on to an undefeated season. Rose Bowl win in the BCS championship game against Texas, 37-21. Boise State also 14-0. You can claim a national championship if you'd like, but the rightful owner of the national championship is Bama, 14-0 in 2009. Two years later, Bama, of course, lost the regular season game against LSU 9-6 in overtime, got the rematch. We had a conference champion in Oklahoma State get snubbed. They were rightfully, uh, should have been in that game against LSU. But under the system, we had three one-loss teams at the end of the year because Bama was able to avenge the loss against LSU. So despite not getting to a conference championship game, not winning the conference, not winning the division, 
Bama was given a second chance and I believe can claim a share of a national championship in 2011. So give it to Bama there. Keep the national championship of 2011. The very next year, Bama lost to Johnny Manziel in Texas A&M. Finished at 12-1 and in winning the SEC, of course. Winning the conference championship game over Georgia and winning the national championship game in a dominant display against Notre Dame 42-14. Game wasn't that close. Ohio State on probation at 12-0. and Other teams went 12-1. and They won the head-to-head against Notre Dame. Bama can hold on to this one in 2012, of course, at 12-1, and winning the BCS championship game in dominant fashion. On to 2015. The team that lost to Ole Miss in the regular season went on to win the SEC, beat Clemson in the national championship game. That Tigers team was undefeated. Yes, Bama is the national champion of 2015 at 14-1. and one. In 2017, another controversial Bama team that gets a chance, an opportunity in the playoff despite not winning the division, not winning the conference, a la 2011. Bama makes the most of it. They beat Clemson by 18. They win a classic for the national championship game against Georgia in overtime. Bama, you are fortunate. You're fortunate, but you pull through in the clutch. Claim your national championship. Keep it in 2017. But UCF, you went undefeated. Only team in the nation. You beat Auburn, the team that beat Bama, the team that beat Georgia as well. UCF, claim your national championship, but Bama can as well. Keep your national championship from 2017. And then finally in 2020, of course, Bama, undefeated, best team in the nation, trounced its playoff opponents, and marched on to a 13-0 campaign when everybody else was playing less games. Bama, certainly the national champion of 2020. So we have taken away four of Alabama's 18 claimed national championships, 1941, 64, 73, and 78. So Bama, with 14 national championships revised, right? Wait a minute. Hang on, Bama detractors and critics. Are there years out there in which Bama can claim national championships that they are not claiming? Maybe they've screwed this whole thing up. Well, it's college football, so we know that it's been screwed up. Bama, look at 1977. Bama goes 11-1. and one. They lost to Nebraska that season. The Huskers went 9-3. and three. They beat Ohio State in the Sugar Bowl. And look at all these 11-1 and one teams from 1977. You've got Notre Dame. They won the Cotton Bowl over Texas. Previously undefeated Texas. Irish win at 38-10. You also have Kentucky and Arkansas. Penn State and Texas. All those teams finished 11-1. and one. Kentucky with a big win over Penn State that season, actually 24-20. Alabama, you are not the outright champion in 1977, but claim a share of the national championship with all those 11 and one teams. Bama, you earned a share. Also in 1975, Bama at 11 and one with a loss in the opener against Mizzou, 20 to 17. Beat Penn State in the Sugar Bowl. What happened in 1975? You had Oklahoma. Voted the national champion at 11 and 1. Ohio State 11 and 1, but a Rose Bowl loser to UCLA. Arizona State was the only undefeated team in America, 12 and 0, but this is before joining the Pac 8 at the time, and Arizona State played an inferior schedule in the WAC. Arizona State, uh, their two biggest wins of the season against number 12, Arizona, and against a number six Nebraska team in the Fiesta Bowl. Alabama. You had a right to claim a national championship share in 1975 as well. 11-1, and one, major bowl winner against Penn State. Bama, 1975 is yours as well. Let's go to 1966. Bama goes 11-0. They defeat Nebraska in the Sugar Bowl 34-7. The two teams that were looked upon, perceived to be the two best in the country, Notre Dame and Michigan State, 9-0-1. The tie against each other, 10-10. One of the most famous games of the history of college football, of course, the game of the century at the time. Neither played a bowl game between Notre Dame and Michigan State. So, Bama, 
You played extra games. You won them all. No ties. Yes, Michigan State, Notre Dame, because you played each other, share a national championship. But Bama gets to claim one as well in 1966 at 11-0. and And finally, what about that 1945 Alabama team? They went 10-0. and Army went 9-0 and as the national champion and played a difficult schedule against the likes of five ranked teams, four in the top 10, number two Navy, number two Notre Dame at the time of kickoff, and won that game 48 to nothing. So we are not denying in any way the dominance of Army in 1945. And Indiana also went 9-0-1. Claim your national championship as well. But Bama, what else can you do? 10-0. and Beat USC 34-14 in the Rose Bowl. Impressive. Had no other ranked wins, but again, they won all the games and beat one of the best teams in the country by three scores in the Rose Bowl. Bama of 1945, claim your national championship. We took four away, but we added four. Alabama fans, rest assured, the 18 on the helmet means something. 18 claim national championships, 18 approved by the Voice of College Football. See you next time.